Seth had been feeling sick all week. At first it started with abdominal pain, but it quickly progressed to a sore throat and eventually to a two day long fever with no sign of letting up. I knew it was bad when she called out of work, so I stayed by her side to attend to her needs while she was ridden to our little Japanese floor futon. At one point, I left the room to get her something to eat, and while I was gone, Zeph made the mistake of looking up her symptoms on the internet. By the time I returned, Zeph was fully convinced that whatever she had was surely a sign that she was dying. I reassured Zeph that it was highly unlikely that she was terminal with cancer, but I couldn't deny that something was surely wrong. I remembered the video by Ice Cream Sandwich when he got appendicitis. Maybe that's what was going on. This whole thing started with abdominal pain, and that pain seemed to be the most immediate problem plaguing Zeph at the moment. That's a plague pun. So I started to look up the symptoms. Some of them fit, but it was hard to tell. Zeph wanted to go to the hospital immediately, but I was hesitant, mainly because of the cost. We had just had some unexpected expenses the month before, and we were still on the mend financially. I wanted to avoid reopening that wound. Another hospital related pun. I'm a writing genius. Eventually I relented. <sighs> Fine. Let's ask one of your friends with a car if after work they can drive us. Hello, hospital. Yes, please send an ambulance. I'm dying. Eep. By the time the ambulance arrived, Seth was fully panicked. They loaded her up and gave her something for the abdominal pain, but she was still hyperventilating and shivering like crazy. I knew this was my moment to step up. I was too busy worrying about how expensive this would all be when I needed to be worrying about my wife. I shoved all that down and began comforting Zeph, helping her to slow her breathing and doing my best to pass all the information I could on to the paramedics. No easy task, mind you, since I cannot speak Japanese, but thank goodness for Google Translate. We arrived at the hospital and they took Zeph to the emergency room. I had to stay outside in a dark, dimly lit waiting area. It was heated with not one, but two little space heaters though, and they were truly doing the Lord's work in keeping that little space warm. I sat down and tried to distract myself by reading webcomics, but not even the sweet, melodious background tracks of Cursed Princess Club could keep my dark thoughts at bay. My mind was reeling with the thoughts of how much all this would cost. I've only been to the emergency room once myself, and that was enough to let me know that ER is only for the affluent and wealthy. The rest of the 99 plus percent of us can't afford that shit, and an ambulance ride to top it off? This was going to ruin us financially. We're gonna have to declare bankruptcy. We'll have to move back to America and take whatever jobs we can find in whatever areas we can even afford to live. We might even have to move to the Midwest. I can't do that. There's too much corn and I can't even say it. Sports. How will a little noodle armed Dungeons and Dragons loving very handsome tiny goblin like myself survive in such a place? But I reminded myself, hey dude, whatever happens, you will get through it. And as always, I was right. Not just because I was the one saying it. Even if I have to leave Japan and try to find work elsewhere, it'll be okay, because I won't be going alone. I'll have Zeph with me, and no matter what happens, or how terrible things get, we'll always be together. And we can get through anything with each other by our sides. After a while, one of the doctors came out. She told me that Zeph was okay, she just had COVID. I was confused. I thought we were here because Zeph was worried she had appendicitis. I asked the doctor about Zeph's abdominal pain. Oh, that. Yeah, she was just constipated. Apparently she hadn't pooped for a week. What? You're telling me we called an ambulance, came all the way out to the emergency room, just to find out that Zeph hadn't pooped for a week? Why didn't she tell me that when we were trying to find out if she had appendicitis? The doctor handed me Zeph's meds and the bill. Reluctantly, I opened it, bracing myself for the impact it was going to have on our financial situation. Oh yeah, Japan has healthcare. So what did we learn? One, lead with I haven't pooped for a week if you're trying to determine if you have appendicitis. Two, healthcare is amazing, seriously. Even health insurance in America is super expensive and has a deductible. And a lot of times it has separate rules for going to the emergency room. The same visit in America would likely have cost us 10 times as much if we were lucky. More than likely it would have been between 2000 to $5,000 out of our pocket. It's still really hard for me to remember that going to the hospital will not leave us financially devastated. But now whenever we feel sick, we just go to the doctor and get it checked out since a normal visit is usually well under a hundred bucks. Actually, Zeph went to the doctor earlier this week, but the building just wasn't there anymore. It had been demolished a couple days earlier or something. So now we have to find a different doctor to visit or figure out where the new office is. But we are taking full advantage of that healthcare, baby. And three, everything is better when you have your best friend by your side. So what is your weirdest hospital story? 
Do you have healthcare where you are from? And what is the most absurd thing that has happened to you today? All those questions and more can be answered by you in the comments. But before you go, I must remind you, dear viewer, that there is a prophecy that if you subscribe to the channel and like the video, you can become the chosen one. But of course, you can always refuse the call until next time. Fare thee well. Was that fun? Bravo! Yay! Bravo, Seth! Yay, Seth! Yay! <laughs> I'm surprised you were so happy. <laughs>